Today we're going to paint a scarecrow standing in a cornfield. You'll need a palette, your paints, and some brushes. You're really only going to use one for the majority of this painting. I'm going to use a size 10 round. The tackiness of the tape is important, so let's go with freezer tape instead of the drafting tape. Wet the paper with clean water. While the water soaks into the paper, get your beads and puddles ready with the colors listed here on the screen. We're going to be working with cerulean, azo orange, quinacridone coral, and neutral tint. Start with a light graduated wash of cerulean followed by azo orange. I used a thirsty brush to soak up that strip between the blue and the orange because otherwise sometimes it turns brown. Finish your graduated wash off with some quinacridone coral. You can let the first wash dry naturally or you can use a hair dryer when you're done. Then make a puddle with neutral tint, medium thickness. Test it out on some paper just to make sure we can still see a bit of the color peek through. I started with the pumpkin shaped head of the scarecrow, added a hat, some straw sticking out of the shirt, and then went on to the cornfield below. It's funny, I had to keep telling myself, up and over, up and over, that's the shape of the corn. Try to vary the corn stalks and make it more random than a pattern. the brush up a couple times with some paint while I was doing these corn stalks. I finished the field by adding some darker corn stalks up front, and I did this by making my paint puddle thicker than what I was using. For the clouds, use the flat side of the brush with minimal pigment. You might want to practice on some sketch paper before you attempt it on your main sheet. Then bring in a tiny bit of azo orange at the bottom. a liner brush to add in some little crows in the distance. Remember to peel the tape carefully so you don't rip the edges. And there you have it, Scarecrow in the Field. I hope you enjoyed painting along with me today. Subscribe for more watercolor!